Hello, my little army of heathens, and we are back in Timberborn. And when we left off, it was in the middle, uh, not the middle, the beginning of a 17 day drought. So we're just gonna start ahead with that because we had almost finished this glorious piece of engineering down here, which is going to give us a lot of water for our beavers. But I was also brainstorming and there's some other things I would like to do about having water get it pumped over into this area and making this our pumping area because these can only pump too deep, which if we either built a levee up or did some terraforming, we could make this a too deep square and just put the pumps all around it and then have the water from the reservoir, which eventually could be pumped up using a mechanical water pump up through a valley and then down here probably from somewhere over here um, because we need 700 horsepower and that's the big issue that we're running into right now is we just don't have the energy for all of the things we want to do like we have this be this is outdated technology we need new technology for our beavers so i think this episode we're going to work really hard on trying to get some new technology for the beavers while they finish this mega reservoir during the 17 day drought Hopefully we have a nice long wet season because a 17 day drought is going to be a little bit rough on them. I was stupid. I didn't pause their water pumping down here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what happens when you have zero brain cells like me. Okay. Let us figure it out. So I wanted to make this area over here industrial. So I want power to be close to our industrial area. And with that being said, I'm curious about getting water that gets pumped around constantly. We don't have TNT or anything like that yet, but for now we may just have to do wind windmills. And we can do small ones and they produce 200, or we can use the bigger ones. The bigger ones require paper and gears, which we don't have a lot of. However, the small ones are only logs and planks and they still produce 200, which is a decent amount. So I'm thinking we start with a bank of them up here, and I would actually do this first. We're gonna connect it really quick. Uh, this is gonna be the path to work, I suppose. And there we go. Okay, so we have them a path to get up here, not the most direct path, but it is a path. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some windmills here. If I could get to them, there we go. And we're just gonna to start putting some Perfect, kind of. Um, we're gonna have to throw in some temporary pathing for them to get up to be able to build some of this. So we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do that. Okay, temporary paths in place. We will now have enough space to build. Yeah, for now. And what I say, that was 18, so that's 3,600 power when these are all running. We all know wind is variable, but uh, that's not the worst thing we have. Water, how's water doing? Water, not so great right now. Water's not doing amazing with just the three pumps active. Oh, I didn't realize how... I had no idea they were almost done over here too. Oh, wow. These beavers just keep surprising me. I keep turning around and they have stuff done. So now we have our primary pumps and we almost have the emergency pumps done for when things get really bad. We still got water being dumped into here, which is fine. And how are we doing over here? I should probably speed up a little bit more. These all should be the highest of priorities. Yeah, everything here is high pride. Except that. What in the world? There we go. Okay, now everything over there is high pry. We should get it done now. What's that? Oh, that's all the storage and stuff. Okay, not super worried about that again. However, the stuff over here, I want to be a higher priority than the stuff over here because we need this power. So we're going to medium priority all of this shenanigans. Um, you know, we're just going to medium priority all this. And then medium priority that and all of this, that and that and that and that. And there we go. We have now medium priorityed all of that. We're going to throw in another path along this road right here. 
then we're going to put a log cutter over here just so he can cut down all these dead trees. Uh, we'll build him, make him high priority, and then we're going to cut these trees down in the back over here. There we go. So that should get rid of all those trees and give us some more lumber towards our new project that we're doing. How are these coming along? What is this? Not bad, not bad. They're almost done with that one and that, that one's just needs a builder. That one needs a little bit more logs. They surprise me. Every time I turn around, these beavers are just surprising the crap out of me. We have one beaver without a job. And hopefully it is... Oh, we have zero beavers without a job. 50 beavers, 51 beavers. Oh, we do have one beaver without a job. Okay, yes. We have one workless beaver right now. Once we get all this power going, though, we'll have a lot more. Which will make me very happy. See, they're already starting to build on this power stuff. That makes me happy. Okay, that makes me very happy. How are the logs going? They're filling up logs down here. What about these? There we go. Beautiful. The only reason I'm not worried about that beaver not having a job right now is because we're about to have five more water pumps being built. Yeah, five. And again, honestly, I know that looks like a waste of resources, but I think what I want to do eventually is turn this into the too high water pumping area, if that makes sense, which actually should just be a square. Uh, can't really do the square part right now, but we'll figure that out later. But we are going to do the levees, that way it can at least hold the water once we get there. And we'll put the actual pumps up here, and then we'll always have water being pumped out of this reservoir into here for the two deep pumps. Because what we don't want is what we have right now, where these pumps would be pumping and then the water gets under the level where they can't pump. It's just not a good time. And we could do something similar as we're doing over here to our emergency backup pumps. The whole point of this is to be a long-term solution to a short-term solution or a short-term problem, which is the drought. So it's the way we're looking at it. It's the way we're going to have it. We have our... Ooh, we're actually doing really good on potatoes and food now. Um, food, yeah, we have a 185 grilled potatoes, 200 and some change spatter dock. Bunch of blueberries. Um, again, blueberries aren't supposed to be a primary food source. Sunflowers, we almost have none of. I think they just eat the carrots pretty much as soon as... We're gonna get rid of... We're, we're gonna get rid of all of these. I would like to make that a high priority so we can replant that entire field with carrots. Because uh, we're just going to make this entire area carrot. So we'll put some sunflowers up here to replace those. But I think five by five by nine is a little bit more than a five by six. So we'll get more carrots out of this area than up here. Again, everything up here is going to get demolished eventually anyway, including this. This was just an emergency thing until we figured out the food. And it is what it is, I suppose. Ooh, another one of these got built. More water, please. We still have 728 water, which is enough. It's not a great amount, but it's enough. Beaver injured, construction lacks materials. What are you lacking? Potatoes, the potatoes are growing. Okay. We're growing more potatoes for you. So we have four potato fields. We'll have three carrot fields, or one giant carrot field, I guess, by the time it's done. Once they demolish everything, they'll have one giant carrot field and we should be good and we're well over halfway into our drought now which is amazing they are doing very well over here we are going to start marking some of these for demolition though i'd like to clear up like, at least up until right here which is uh, i don't want to get rid of our blueberries but at the same time we have way too many blueberries anyway We'll replant some of the dandelions or the blueberries or something over here once we get a water source figured out down here. Maybe we'll level this and do something with that. I'm not sure yet. I'm really glad these haven't been built yet, actually. We're going to low prioritize these for now. Uh, and we're going to medium priority the walkways. That way those are built before the actual houses, ideally. There we go. So all those walkways should get built relatively quickly. And now over here, we're going to need... What are we going to need? We're going to need some stuff. We're going to need a paper mill, which would allow us to build bigger windmills. 
later on, which is fine. We may loop around the back over here, or put the windmills up here. Uh, we're going to need gravity batteries too, but those require melted, melted steel, and we don't have that just yet, so... That is a, another problem for another day, but those will probably go up here so they can hang off the very high portion of the cliff. And we still have to build our temple to the helix gods. Um, where is that temple? Yes, right there, just under the water. <laughs> it's going to be like the Zelda temple. Now we'll probably put it somewhere over here because it has to be built on ground. That or we have to put a platform. I don't know if it can be built on platforms. I'm going to have to check that out if that can be built the temple can be built on that platform we are dangerously low on water right now though you know it's bad when they stop that which is fine as long as we keep a little bit of water in here which may lead me to build another we might build another row of dams down here honestly some dams right here mostly to keep the water intact if that makes any sense specifically this water that we're dumping in is that out of their build range it shouldn't be if it is we'll have to add some stuff but uh for now plant some more carrots and we'll just get rid of this right here maybe actually we'll get rid of this and just add a road right here demolish resources we'll just get rid of this right here and we'll put a road right there once they get actually demolished how is our mega dam? Oh, they're already building the spillway. Okay. I see you. I see you, beavers. I see you. Working hard. They're already on the spillways. That's nice. That gives me hope. Maybe in five days we'll be fine. Yeah, I think this is a good idea for maintaining water. And now that we have these bridges, I can actually just demolish these right here. And again, I only want to demolish these so I can put dams in place because I want to be able to hold the water that's inside here for spatter dock and whatnot, which is going to require another water pump or water dump. Sorry. Oh, because that's under it. Okay. And we'll put another water dump right there. We'll get these. We'll get these built. We'll get these demolished really quick. And yeah, that should be a pretty easy day. We only have another four days left in the drought so not a big deal our water has dropped a little bit but not enough for me to really panic uh, once we get these other three water pumps going i think we'll be just fine having six water pumps for 50 beavers is a pretty good pretty good way of having it they're still they're already almost done with the spillway God. yeah they are they only got two more for the spillway and then they're back on the normal dam these beavers are working hard. They're like, I want to retire. And I don't blame them. Oh, we got all this built. Look at all that storage that we have now. Also, I love the storage where they have the boxes now. I know I said that last update, but oh, they're building everything now. We have showers without water running to them. That makes sense. That seems about right. Oh, there we go. We're out of water over here anyway. Because the, uh, well, these blueberries are going to dry up and die in seven days. There'll be water running to them before then. You don't have a job anymore. Perfect. So we now have a workless beaver again. And we have some of these platforms and these windmills being built, which is awesome. Because now we can start planning our industrial district. We're industrial. Uh, we're gonna need gears. We want two gear workshops. We're gonna get our lumber mills and put them back in place right here as well. And we can just get rid of that, get rid of that. And that's gonna be the beginning of the industrial district. And we'll take a power outlet and run it around the back here. We'll run the next group of buildings right here. And then we'll take some more of the power and run it up here. But for now, these need to be low priority so they don't accidentally build those. We're going to take that and connect them. And there we go. These will automatically be connected to those once they're done. That's coming along quite nicely. Two days left into the drought. Uh, the beavers have will be finishing the spillway for the drought. And then if they get that done, if they get the spillway plus these two done, which they may not get that done because that's going to take... A little bit more than they have in them. I don't know. There's some of those 
Oh, those haulers are just carrying the logs down here. Okay, perfectly fine with that. We got one day left in the drought. Some minor water issues over here. We're going to lose this spatter dock. It is what it is. Things happen. Uh, we kept this group of spatter dock, which is fine. As long as we have an area of it. This needs to be a little bit higher priority so I can get that water pump right there built. Next season, they'll have plenty of spatter dock, though. I mean, they still have plenty of spatter dock. We're, we're good on spatter dock, I think. They already have some of this power done. And the wet season is well on its way. These are some... Oh, they finished the spillway now. Okay. I think I already knew they did that. And they need one builder to come and finish that one. So once they get a builder here, finish that in there, we'll be able to open up these other five water pumps. But that is the end of the dry season. So you know what that means, guys. We're going to have fun and have the nice wet season time lapse. Enjoy. All right, that was a very long wet season for us, which is very nice. And we have a short dry season, only 13 days. So this is very, very good for us. And as you can see, we built the, oh, before the water flow actually, oh, too late. Okay, well, I messed that part up. Uh, I was gonna say before the water flow gets too big, we're gonna seal these dams up, but we already did. We already sealed them up, which is nice. And now we have these five pumping away. Um, they're only going to have one block to pump with right now, which is fine. We're going to pause these three and hopefully never reactivate them again. Uh, right now, I never want to turn those pumps on again. We will leave them just in case, but I don't think we're going to need them, guys. I really don't think we're going to need them. Just like we're not going to need a road on top of this. That's what this is for. This one is going to be one of those uh, medium priority ones. Uh, yeah. We also don't need this lumber mill anymore. We do need the gear workshop, but we're just going to take the gear workshop for now and put him where the lumber mill was. And then we're just going to high priority that. And hopefully just, yeah, there's all these resources that are sitting around. We're going to high priority that they take some of those. Uh, they have done a lot of these windmills, so I'm really impressed with that. And another thing I am massively impressed with is look how far we are on this reservoir. <laughs> They're almost done. They have 23. They have 23 left. 23 left, yeah. So they have 23 for that. That is awesome. I thought that was going to take so much longer to build, to be honest, especially with it being so far away and it being so inefficient building down here. I didn't expect it to get built that fast. We still, we have about four vacancies, but this workplace is the next one, or this home is the next place to get built. So uh, they're gonna have a nice, nice little area, ideally. 
These beavers are just going at it. Look at them. Look at them. That one's a water carrier. So he's making sure our workers have water. And these guys are just... It's three of them. Let's see if they finish this one. That's eight. Alright, each one carries two? Yeah. This guy should finish it. And build it. There we go. They already finished two of them. They only have 21 left. That's wild that they're working that fast. We almost have all of... Oh, we got this done. So now if the water back here dries out, it's not really a big deal. We lose some trees, but most of those trees can survive without water for a hot minute. Um, it's these crops down here that need the constant flow of water, which is why we did it this way. Also, I forget how many people can live in one of those big houses. So let me see, because I would like to start getting rid of these. And these sleep... Uh, the housing? Yeah. Six. And these sleep nine. So I can get rid of one of these for an increase of three once that one is done. If that makes sense in your head. If not, I, sorry, I can't help you with math. And then we're gonna get rid of that as well. Can I just like delete? Oh, there we go. Because I know they're never gonna use these resources. It sucks that we lose logs, but they just never pick them up. Like these resources over here, they've just been sitting there forever. Or these, or these, or these. So we have some beavers sleeping outside, which is sad. But also, now that that is medium prioritied and that is high prioritied, that should get built pretty quickly. They only need like five logs. But again, a lot of the logs are just, look at the little army of beavers. Look at them go. Where's the Imperial March theme song when you need it? I would play it, but it's probably gonna get me copyright strike. Look at all these. Those are all haulers, so they're going down here? Yeah, the haulers bring them down here for whatever reason. Instead of just hauling them to where they need to go, and then the workers grab them and bring them over here. So they're building about two a day at the rate that they're going, which isn't... Oh my god, look how many are coming. Those are all haulers too, aren't they? It's just a little army of haulers. They're just going away, look at them. I love this game. It's resource management which is not my best game style at all like i suck at resource management but it's cute resource management because it's beavers and it makes me want to actually care about them how's our water doing water water's up to 2k i think we're fine with these five extra pumps that we added that gives us eight pumps almost all of our big water storages are full and or on the way to being full so i think we're good on that i might have <laughs> I hate putting everything's a high priority. <laughs> Weren't you? This is okay. Once we get done with over there. Yeah. They're building about two a day. They just got this row left, which is nice. They're going to be done with this before this drought is over because this row is one, two. They're going to be finishing this as the drought ends. It should be like right here, right when the drought ends, give or take. Unless I increase their working hours, which would be an awful thing to do, but. I'm not that bad of a person. Also, I don't like having beavers sleeping outside, so can we just get a builder over here, please? It just needs a builder. It has the logs. Okay, just get one builder, please. All I need is a builder. Come on, dude. Hey, there we go. Okay, now we have no homeless beavers, and we have room for another three. Or two. Two or three. Which is fine, because we have two more babies now. And now they're going to start building that rooftop terrace, actually. So now we can actually have a party for the beavers. Because that's what we want. We want happy beavers. Look at them. There we go. I want happy beavers. And we're at a happiness of nine, but we could do better. Um, shelter, sleep, thirst. You know, wet fur. Most of them have wet fur. Carrots, sunflower seeds, grilled chestnuts, bread social life rooftop terraces and campfires shrubs roof scarecrows and beaver statues so we have a lot of things that we can add here we have some easy things and some harder things but we're gonna try and start adding some stuff so we know all of them get exposed to uh roofs because they all go home but not all of them get exposed to what or maybe not enough of them get to take showers because the wet fur right where's the wet fur so not all of them get wet fur. Maybe there's not enough showers. You know, maybe we can add two more on this side. They don't, they don't really seem to be like constantly. Because that's stirring. Okay, so we're going to give them an extra hour of sleep. We're going to cut down their work days. 
We'll give them two more showers on... What if we did another Lido right here? Where's this Lido at? Because we could fit another one right there if we TNT'd some stuff. Which means we need TNT. Explosives for the good of beavers. I like the sound of that. We're going to get explosives soon enough. Again, I would rather just... Oh my god, these freaking blueberry bushes, I swear. Just demolish all of it, please. All of it needs to go. Please and thank you. So that is done. How oh, are we looking over here? We still got five days in the drought and they are done with that corner. I'm giving them a little bit more sleep to help out with that happiness. This should have been a high... Okay. Now it's a high priority job site because I don't want to lose spatter dock again. <clears throat> but now that we're at this point, we can start expanding our food again. So we have our carrot field. We have our potato fields, but we also have a lot of land up here that is not touched. And now that we have water, we have a lot of land up here that is not touched by... So I think we need another farming colony. Or not a farming colony, but a group of farmers. It, words are not my strong suit, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to take some dams here, specifically a levee or two, or at least one. And then we're going to take some dams here, and we're going to do it that way, and then we're going to... Because I want to build a pathway, and I want to build a farm over here. Also, that tree needs to get demolished, please. Demolish that tree. And I'm thinking a massive sunflower field over here. Those aren't necessarily a priority as compared to these. But yeah, I'm thinking massive sunflower farm over here so we can get at least the sunflower seeds out of the way. I like the sounds of that. I do, I do like the sounds of that. What do we need next for uh, power metal? We're gonna need a smelter and a mine. Oh, we'll need the smelter. Ooh, we could do the smelter like that. And then we could connect the power coming off the smelter to whatever else we need to do. I like that idea because we can do that and kind of just have them connected that way. Because the rest of it should just be wood, like the paper mill, which can be connected right here. We have gears, planks, paper. I'm not super worried about these right now, but I would like, where is it? An explosives factory and then TNT. So the way it's going to be built now, once all this gets done, we're going to low priority this though, is now we'll have our smelter, printing press, our explosives and everything and we don't have to build any more power however when uh this is, produces 36 so i'm gonna need to do some math really quick i hate math i hate it i hate it i hate it we're gonna need 200 that's not too bad uh 200 plus 150 so 350 plus 80 plus 240 okay yeah we should make more than enough okay yeah, we'll be fine. As long as these windmills are turning, we'll be fine. That entire industrial area is not going to eat up most of our power. Right now, oh, that's done. Awesome, 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 awesome. So now they'll build this, and this will keep water in this area for the most part, which will allow us to keep water flowing right here for a little bit, and at least enough to put a farm over here and some sunflowers behind them. Oh my. Uh, maybe I overestimated where they'll have that. Why don't we up the working hours to 20 hours for the last day? I know it's not a great thing to do, but y'all have a little bit of work to do. This is the last day of the drought. Just work it, and then you get the wet season, and everybody gets to be happy. Work. Work, my little minions. Build them. Build. We're so close. I wanted to finish it this episode. Or at least before this drought ends, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. We have six beavers, five jobs. That's fine. Not enough water here. That's fine because we have enough water elsewhere. More than enough. Oh, yeah, we have more than enough food. In fact, we have too much food. I'm going to guess you're fully stocked up potatoes. We're going to have to build some more storage for food soon, which isn't a bad thing. Don't ever think that when I say that it's a bad thing. I like having more food than I need. 
plant some more carrots over there. How's our carrot? Yeah, we have like no carrots though. They're just not a fan of the carrots. But that is it. That is the end of the drought. I uh, definitely underestimated where the beavers would be. Putting them back to a 15 hour work day. They have eight more left to build. Seven more left to build. That beaver wanted to prove me wrong in the last seconds of my day. The water is well managed. We have 2.6 thousand water, 1,000 food, with the plan to increase the food in the next episode. Especially with the giant field up here that I plan on building. I think we're doing just fine for being in hardcore mode. I don't plan on surviving a 60 day drought anytime soon, but a 30 day drought may push us to our limits, but I think we would be just fine. So I think we're doing just fine. Thank y'all. Oh, we didn't even lower this enough to where these guys had to stop pumping. That's wild. Well, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining. Bye, guys.